Hi Libra, welcome to With Love Tarot. I'm back with your love reading for March of 2020. How is everybody doing out there? So this is going to be about somebody who is most on your mind, whether you're dating this person or this could even be an ex. I'm just taking the messages and energies that the tarot most gives me. And as I do your readings in general, I've noticed that I pick up on a lot of breakup energy across the board for all signs. So I have the feeling that many of you watch me wondering if there's going to be communication or reconciliation. So this is definitely for those of you who are already dealing with somebody in some capacity. And also I am doing something special for you. So I want you guys to comment down below if you have a question that you would like me to take a tarot card on. And I will be answering your questions in your next video series, so look out for it in the beginning of March. And so I don't know how many of you are going to ask questions, but if I get a ton, I'll probably put them in a bowl and then do a drawing. And so what I'll do is in your next video, I will at the end read your question, um, call out your username, and then take a tarot card on that. So be on the lookout for it. Are you ready? Okay guys, for mutual energies, we have Temperance and Queen of Cups, so this is really nice energy to start your reading. And now this is on both of your parts here. So what this tells me is that either you, your person, or both of you are working on something or healing something. Now this could be working on your relationship with your person, especially if you've gone through a breakup or some type of rockiness. This is actually tempering the emotions, your emotions involved, and what's going on within the relationship, right, for your highest good and the highest good of others. There's very much of a healing energy here. Also, protection. There is very much of a protective energy surrounding this card, which I don't always pick up on, but it's coming through here. So what it's saying is that you or this union is protected, right? So there's a higher power or some type of guardian angel that is maybe blessing this union or looking out even for you and your person so really really beautiful energy here now with the queen of cups guys some of you could be dealing with a water sign or with somebody with water in their chart you could have water in your birth chart as well but again this is a very loving energy the queen of cups is a man or woman as this is a general reading so this could be the person that you're dealing with and if it's not then these are your traits and this person is very beautiful on the inside and out and they have a lot of love to give okay so i have the feeling that Either you are offering your cup to your person or you're becoming emotionally available with your person or they're doing this with you as this is mutual energies or you guys are just working on something, okay, is really the feeling coming through here. This could be a reconciliation for some of you out there too. And also some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. We have the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups for your person's actions for you. So, wow, this is two knights, so there's definitely some type of action taking place. So, if there hasn't been a lot of action by the time you watch this reading, then something is going to move or this is something to come for your future is what's coming through here. Because with two knights present, this is very much forward movement. Okay, especially these guys here. So this is somebody coming in to give you an offer or open the lines of communication. So some of you will either be receiving a message or at the very least, your person could be contemplating reaching out to you, especially if there hasn't been communication. Or if you're with your person, it's really just the same energy. Perhaps they want to bring some type of passion or love into this union because with the Knight of Cups, 
uh, this knight is very emotionally available. He's he's very emotional. And with this guy here, he's all about passion. So we have passion and emotion. So very beautiful. And this is on your person's part. So they're very attracted to you as well. So very, very nice. Also too, guys, if you aren't with your person this could be some type of uh, with the knight of cups some type of love offer that comes in for you okay after a period of time now for their feelings we have the moon and the seven of pentacles and immediately when i saw these two cards together when they popped out i got the feeling that your person could be going through something during this time period, not in a major way necessarily, but with the moon card here, there could be some type of uh, confusion on their end, especially if you aren't with your person or, you know, there's maybe been a break of some sort here, or, you know, this could just be on a general level too. We all kind of go through ups and downs with our emotions. It's, it's really normal, but with the moon and the seven of pentacles there's also a waiting energy here so your person for some of them feels like they put in a lot of work into this union or put some type of an investment in okay and they're waiting on some type of return it's almost like they can't wait to pick the fruit or in this case the pentacles off the bush here so some of them could be waiting on your return especially if there hasn't been a lot of contact or there's been a breakup and maybe they're going through some type of emotional turmoil and really trying to get some type of guidance uh, during this time period. So I will clarify everything in just a few moments. And for future energies, guys, we have King of Swords and the Page of Wands. So there's a lot of communication in this spread from what I'm seeing. And with the King of Swords, guys, what this is saying is... For some of you out there, there's going to be a conversation that takes place. And the feeling I'm getting is this could be an honest conversation or a clearing of the air, right? So if some of you have to work on your issues, this is kind of like uh, coming together with your person and agreeing to lay it all out, you know, and say, hey, this is what needs to change or this what needs to be fixed. It's that kind of energy because the King of Swords is really no nonsense. So actually this could be your energy here. This is air energy. This person is very intelligent. They're logical, analytical. They have emotions, of course, but they don't waver on what they know they deserve. You know, it's really that kind of energy. It's, it's really no nonsense. So this could be kind of your energy going into the future that you take, which is very good. It's very strong energy, but it's also fair. So you won't the feeling I'm getting is you is you won't let your emotions control you. You know, you will make the right decisions for you and the right decisions for your person. Now, the other message that came through here is you could be dealing with a fellow air sign here. And this is a man or woman. And again, somebody who's very intelligent, analytical, and they could be a doctor, a lawyer or in those fields or just, you know, in a field where they have to really use some type of uh, analytical skills or they could also be very good communicators. Now, with the Page of Wands for the final card on this, again, it's communication. And look at this. We have the Knight of Wands for their actions. So it's almost like full circle here. Some of you could be dealing with fire sign here too. But there's going to be some type of communication for some of you out there or a, a message. Now, this could be a quick message that comes in. It could be a text message or even a, a ping on social media. It's really that kind of energy for some of you out there. And it could just simply be bringing some type of passion into this union too, or even having fun with your person. You know, if you guys haven't had a lot of date nights or, you know, maybe it's been like all business Maybe there's some type of shift where you bring some uh, youthful energy or playful energy into this union or your person does that as well, you know, or this could indicate too that there's an age difference, okay? You could be younger than your person or your person could be younger than you. So I'm going to clarify everything here to get a little bit more specific.
So as I was shuffling, guys, the Ten of Swords fell out onto your mutual energies here. So what this tells me is that some of you could be going through a breakup with your person or this could be some past energy that is coming through to the present, meaning this breakup could have happened way back or a few months ago or a few weeks ago, but nonetheless, it's here. Now, this is not for everybody, of course, but I have to deliver the message with the Ten of Swords is that there could have been some type of ending that took place here, all right? And it's exactly why I was picking up on some type of healing energy with temperance that for some of you out there, you are either trying to rebuild something with your person or that's energy that's coming in for your future that you guys are going to come together and try to heal something. Also too, what just came through is that some of you, including your person, are simply healing yourselves. You know, you, this is, you could be going through some type of, um, period where maybe you're healing from a heartache or, you know, you're just kind of taking care of yourself for that matter. And also um, with this card in particular, this person's spirit or soul is kind of rising up after, you know, an ending. And so the message that I get in this deck with this card is it's almost like a, a resurrection or a rebirth of some sort. So for some of you out there, yeah, there could be um, a second chance with your person or that's at least where your person or you are trying to take this relationship. Uh, perhaps some of you are going to choose to work on it, right, and have a second chance or a do-over with your person. It's, oh, it's almost like life after death. Like even though there was an ending, there's, you know, this person is rising up. Right? There's very much life still left in this card. And this is a 10, so from 10s we rebuild. So we start over, right? It's like the bottom. You, you can only go up from here. Now, also the other message I got here is, remember I was talking about some of you maybe working on yourselves or healing? Well, I took another card on this and we have the Empress. So this is very beautiful, especially with the Queen of Cups. Yeah, guys, I have the feeling a lot of this is your energy, okay? This is man or woman that you guys are really working to heal yourselves or just, you know, restore some type of balance in your life or, you know, kind of work on your goals or maybe, you know, start getting in shape or it's really that kind of energy here. And also the message that just came through is that you could be the mother or father of your person's child, okay? Especially with the Empress card, this is sometimes the mother of the tarot. But whatever this is, this is really, really beautiful energy. Now, we have the Ace of Cups for your person's actions. And guys, it's really beautiful. Look at this, especially with the Knight of Cups. So... This confirms it for me. Yeah, for some of you out there, there's gonna be a love offer coming in. So I'm gonna reverse this so it looks like that. And it's like this person, your person wants to come forward and offer you their cup. Ace of Cups is also a new beginning, all right? But it's not any new beginning. It's, it's one of unconditional love, it's pure, it's restoring, some type of purity even into the union. So your person is either doing this now or contemplating reaching out to you for many of you out there. And whatever this is, it's very beautiful. And with the butterfly here that I just noticed, it's almost like a metamorphosis. So maybe after a period of a breakup or you know maybe some uh, turbulence or rockiness, you guys come together and choose to work on things or you know, leave the baggage in the past for some of you out there if, if you want a new beginning or a fresh start with your person. And we have the seven of wands in the wheel for your person's feelings clarifying everything here. So we have another seven. So seven or the number 14 could be uh, meaningful for some of you out there. It's like your person is waiting on something. That's like the message I keep getting because this person here is waiting and this person here is waiting, right? So if there was a breakup, guys, or you're on pause, it's like 
they're waiting on results or they're waiting for you to come back around or they're waiting on communication. This doesn't mean to contact them. It just means that they could be in a period themselves where maybe they're waiting on the right time to reach out to you or, you know, something to that effect. And also with the seven of wands, there could have really been some type of uh, conversation or rockiness that took place, not for all of you out there, but for some of you, because with the seven of wands, this is about, you know, standing their ground as well, right? Not in a bad way, but it's almost like they, if there was some type of argument that took place, they could be kind of unwavering on their stance, at least, you know, during this uh, time period, this could be some type of a stalemate. But the other message that just came through here is that your person is actually willing to fight for this connection, okay? So there's two different storylines that's coming through here. So if there wasn't a breakup or an argument that took place, this is them just willing to fight for the connection, if you will, okay? With the wheel here, as I'm looking at this card, remember I was just talking about how perhaps they're waiting for the right time or, you know, they're going within and reflecting, especially with the moon card. There's very much of a season's energy here, as you can see, all right? So the messages I'm getting is almost like this is the natural life cycles of life and, you know, natural cycles that every relationship goes through and maybe they're going within and trying to figure things out and maybe they're going through something personal too that's really, you know, has nothing to do with the relationship. Maybe they're just waiting on the right time for something. But with this card too, this is also about fate or some actions that are already set in motion, but in a positive way. So almost like your person is leaving something up to fate and they have faith that this is gonna work out or something's gonna come back around. It's really that kind of energy. It's really powerful here too. Maybe your person is going through some type of change. And we have the Three of Pentacles clarifying your future energy. So very nice, guys. So you're going to build something with your person if you choose to. This is working on something. But what this also tells me is that there is work that needs to be uh, put into this union. Every relationship needs work to some extent. So this is taking care of it and nurturing it. You know, this child is, is watering his flowers here so very nice and this is also about collaborating too some of you could work with your person or go to school with your person or be involved with them on a level that's not just romantic is a message for some of you out there too but there's very much of an energy of coming together with them and choosing to work with them and maybe even teach each other things and learn from one another as well this is a very specific message that just came through here. So very nice. Libra, I wish you a beautiful March. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your question below if you'd like me to pull a tarot card on it. And look out for your next reading to see if it is answered. With love.